go. We're to the point of the mattress build up and I've I've pre-carded some of the core fiber and set it into the um, onto the uh, spring deck in advance of filming this where you can just at least get a sense of the weight and the thickness of the core. I'm just setting a very light layer of core at the base just to take out any anomalies between the springs and the stuffing and then the historic stuffings would be placed over the top after this is, has been um, the core has been bridal stitched into position. I'll lay the core back to where it can be the spring deck can be seen. <coughs> and the gutters have been filled with shredded palm fiber, um, Algerian. I'm going to pull this out of the gutter just temporarily to where you can see how it fills. Makes for a nice springy stuffing. And this will be the material that comprises the uh, side edge rolls. So these bumpers that go along the side that will be firm to keep the hips from from um, bottoming out against the um, against the uh, tacking edge. Okay, I'm going to lift this the core back into position. It's very very thin. Core fiber is nice because it you can hand cart it out. You can tease it into very very thin springy stuffing. Okay, I think it fit in thusly. Sometimes you'll catch little bits of the um, uh, coconut um, uh, kernel, and you have to pull those out. They're kind of hard. Okay, so now you can see on the on the historic stuffings there are three distinct layers. There's the Spanish moss, and then there's a a long strand linen fiber mixed with um, excelsior, so wood shavings, and then a much more coarse linen fiber, there may be other materials, there's some straw mixed in with this, and I'm not certain what vegetable species this is, but uh, it makes for a very densely packed um, stuffing. This um, strike stuffing was thoroughly vacuumed, and then it was sprayed with a 10% bleach solution to kill any uh, uh, fungus or microbes in the uh, fiber and then exposed to um, to sunlight. And we actually did this for a specific reason because there was mold yes. in this so in the sofa bed. We did find white mold in it. I'll lay this back over the top, tuck it down underneath. Now I can adjust the thickness of this stuffing. When the bridal stitches go in, it's going to pull this elevation down to the elevation of the um, bottom band spring. So this half has been done. The other half ha doesn't have the stuffing in, in yet. That's correct. Correct. Okay, so that's why the disparity. So now I'm disparity. going to pull the, um, the topper with the membrane over to where you can get a sense of why the membranes were set in. And everything is pulled down tightly. The stitching is in. This will be the flex point on the mattress. And the elevation will be almost flat. There will be just a little bit of a valley betrayed here that will be filled in before the final cover to where the mattress looks flat. You can see that. Uh, it um, has a little bit of a valley at this point, which will mitigate by... Uh, so this burlap is not the final cover. There's a nice not. tick cover for There's this. A ticking and then the final upholstery. Okay. So there are four layers of, of materials going into this mattress. It will be substantial when it's done, but it is also imperative that the, the piece doesn't crown um, uh, much beyond the elevation of the frame edge. Otherwise, it'll be a big round form, 
and that's not how mattresses are made. You need to have a fairly flat surface to lie on. Okay. Are we done? Yes.